Mr. Squidward. Hello and welcome to Sleep Deprived Podcast Episode 72, everybody. Yeah. What's up, yeah. everybody? What's yeah. up, everybody? It's me, yeah. Shalat. I'm back to clean up the big ass mess that we left. Stop talking I thought, about it. I dude. thought we cleaned that up last time. Oh, yeah. oh well, I mean, after the mess Mika left, I'm not we sure. Hit it. We Can hit it all. It's all underground. I was now. pretty sure mess. every Bring cleaning crew in the world this. would need to be called You're in to clean that disaster up. You're never letting this go. It would just I mean, move past it's a pretty, it. Mika, 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 it's a pretty big thing to let go. What you, uh, what you did. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, guys, you guys have, have solely put it on me now, but, you know, you guys were, you, you have just as much fault in it. We're fine. They won't find it. Okay, guys. Yeah. Well, um, hey, everybody. Welcome back. We've got some crazy topics today on the Sleep Deprived podcast. Uh, favorite colors. Let's go. This one's, this is hard. Yeah. It's so difficult. Who wants to go first? Blue or maybe green or maybe a mixture of them. R- really? Yeah. Why? Uh, I don't. Blue is just kind of, it's kind of mid for me. Oh, okay. Wait, it depends on the blue, though. Blue's like, dark kind blue is kind of mid. It's, it's like 10 mid. billion shades of blue. <laughs> yeah, th- there's a lot of different types of, there's like dark blue, what's which the is best, disgusting. What's light the best blue. shade? Light blue. Light blue? Maybe a pale or, light blue. Or yeah. cyan or maybe. That, yeah, that, cyan. Really, that really bright yeah. one. Those are mm. top tier blues. How dare you say yeah. blue is mid? To be honest, no, I, mean, I, I agree. Blue. Like, there's some blues that are mid. Like, I think dark blue is mid. I think not. Nah, you guys have just not seen like dark blue in the right context. Because in well, the no, right context, I, I, dark Mika, blue I, looks any awesome. color in the right context is good. A Yankees navy blue, almost. You know, oh man, so good. Mika, what's yours? Um, it's either blue or orange. One of the two. Jeez, I would have thought it would be red after the walls you painted. <laughs> But it was art. It was art. It, it was, was art. art. It, was it was art. It was paint. Yeah. It was paint. It was red paint. Red paint. Red paint. Acrylic. I love how he gets all silent when we start talking about this. <clears throat> Mika. Yeah, you know, he's what? right there remain silent. Yeah. Though. Everyone's got skeletons in their closet, Mika. Yours are just a little more fresh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Panda? my favorite color, I, honestly, I don't know what the, this color is. It's like magenta but it's bright it's almost like mm. it's red but it's like pink wait like it's like your profile pink? picture yeah yeah that color i think that's hot pink no no if you if you google hot pink it's way more pink than it is red it's 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 close to barbie hot pink i would say it's like the u2's color oh, oh. That's yeah yeah uh, now he- <laughs> now it, it, like it it, well. yeah i'm gonna have to change the color now it, it's like barbie hot pink but slightly more red Astro, what would you say? Uh, probably like a black. A black? Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, black is a shade, not a color. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was just gonna say right. that it's more of a shade. Fine. Oh my god! You purple. Got it. purple, purple, purple. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Purple. Okay. No, I get it. Thank you. I don't. I don't like purple. Okay, man. You know what? Pur- purple what? for me is up there with like dark blue. Why the purple hate, huh? Purple well, I mean, I mean, royalty. light purple. I like light purple, but dark purple, no. Well, I'm more about the light purple anyway, so okay. you know what? It's fine. Okay, that, that's more understandable. Then. But I agree with the, the green and the orange picks by Schlatt and Mika. You know, I used to hate green and orange when I was a kid, but now as an adult, much more into the green and the orange. You know, uh-huh. I love all colors, honestly, except mm. except dark blue. My uncle wanted to be a pilot, and um, he went through all the training, and then he figured out he was colorblind, so then he Ouch. couldn't be a pilot. And then he became wow. a firefighter instead, and then became a first responder in 9 11. Dude, that God. blows. Yeah. He couldn't fly the plane. <laughs> oh. So, so had, what do you, what do you guys think of the of a, <laughs> What do you guys think True story, of a, by the way. <laughs> really? That's not yeah. true, dude. No, no it's way. true. He wanted to be a pilot, uh, but he figured out he was colorblind, so they kicked him out of the academy. But was he actually a first responder? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. He was, man. He worked on the pile for months afterwards, too. That's why, oh. I, that's why I can make these jokes. Can I make one? Yeah, yeah can, I, I can I have the nine eleven joke pass? Do you want the pass? <laughs> I'll give you the pass. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go to Twitter now. I I heard that um for like years, like decades now, post 
like 9-11, like a lot of the first responders and firemen are getting like lung cancer. Yeah. Well. Thanks for yeah. reminding me. <laughs> yeah. I just, I was wondering if you're. Does he have lung cancer? No. <laughs> yeah. I should, Not I, yet. I should, at least, man. Well, <laughs> that was awkward. Um, I really shouldn't seven. have brought that up. I apologize. Slash. No, that's fine. That's okay. He probably will get it. Thanks. Maybe man. we'll get it. You know, Ooh, maybe we'll get it. Yeah, maybe I'll get cancer. <laughs> there's like, there's like a Vsauce video. I think it's titled like, "Why don't we all have cancer?" <laughs> it's kind of facts though. Like, everything can give you cancer. So what is cancer anyway? Dude, Vsauce always hits, man. I was watching his he videos. He still hits. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's just, it's just enjoyable. It's just, it's just fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He makes learning fun. It's too bad there's a t- there's a million tiny little bugs under his skin. Oh, Millions of about tiny like little bugs, little cephalopods under his skin. Oh man, stop! Tiny little plankton cephalopods stop, under his skin. He's got to tear his skin. He's got to tear oh. his skin. Did you guys know that uh, at any given time, there's there's like lots of little mites living on your eyelashes? Ooh, yep. Ooh your that's eyes. gross. I don't like. I like give it, them food. I like, like shits. Strive. It shits Dude. on your eyebrows. Ew, the shitty on your eyebrows? <laughs> yeah, they, they, <laughs> they awesome. shit, they poop. They oh, poopy. God, that's gross. That's Have gross. you guys seen that uh, that video of the someone using like a, a, a blow dryer or an air dryer in like a public restroom? Uh, I mean, like I've done that before. Yeah, maybe um, maybe just stop doing that. I'm not going to say more, but uh, I'm, I'm not really going to use those anymore, to be honest. But a lot of places like only have them like they won't even have the the paper anymore oh you're, you're talking about the things you stick your hands in like the well, air the di- like the dyson air blade well yeah. those it also um like uh the, the the square ones with like the little nozzle on them the ones you put your hands under oh yeah uh-huh yeah well let's just say you're gonna want to keep your hands wet after uh after what you find out is going on there does it just blow a bunch of shitty poopy molecules onto your hands yeah uh, something like that, kind of, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. That's like the reality of life, though. I feel like anywhere you go, you're getting poop molecules on you. True. There's can no I just escape. say? There's no escape at this point. Can I just say, life is so frustrating and annoying. You spend <laughs> months, years, cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and getting rid of all the bacteria and dirt and filth. And then a week later, it doesn't it matter. Back. It just, it comes, it just back. comes back. It's dirty. It's... I can't take it anymore, man. So Mika, we should give up. We should stop showering. You've got in you right now. Oh my god, that's got crazy! And you coursing through your <laughs> millions of sperm. There is hot <laughs> piping in your <laughs> right now. <laughs> How does that Damn. make you feel? Uh, pretty terrible. To be pretty honest. terrible. I feel like a man. I feel like a man. Yeah, now that I feel like, feel like a like fucking. That. I feel like a top. G. I have millions of. I have millions of potential children just walking around. Uh-huh. With me. Uh huh. I'm gonna cook them, dude. If I exploded, dude, <laughs> could you imagine the potential? If the you potential. exploded, yeah. If you all the shy, all the children, <laughs> like, dude. All right, riddle me this: If I exploded above Earth, and then all <laughs> what? It's just ridiculous already. What? But okay, good. No, just continue. that's why I said riddle me this. Okay, if I exploded above Earth and then all the <laughs> spread out, how what many kind of babies would this? form? <laughs> how many babies would form? Probably zero. not very many. Not very zero. many. Zero, literally zero. <laughs> they would all burn up in the atmosphere. You know, we have like trillions or bazillions of sperm. One of them could be Albert bedillions? Einstein, or like There's so LeBron much hot James, or <laughs> Stephen Hawking, or just someone like. But no, we'll never know. Nah, you're sterile, man. Like, like I could have. I could have the next Kanye West sperm right now. Yeah, man. But instead, <laughs> instead, the one that makes it to the egg is like a is like fucking William. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a it's a Jim. Yeah. Oh, Jim. God, Jim. Speaking of Jim, uh, how many monkeys do you guys think you could beat in a fight? Are they named Jim? Yeah. Depends I, on the monkey. I'm gonna be dead honest. Zero. <laughs> no, hold I, on. It depends, depends on the monkey. Mon- yeah, have you seen those monkey. fucking stories of the chimpanzees ripping the face off of women in Florida, yeah, man? Chi- oh yeah, One Travis. Travis, you'd the ape. be fucked. Chimpanzee, no, no chance. But like a spider monkey, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I could snap yeah, one yeah. of those like a twig. But yeah. I mean, like, real. I, I don't want to be in that position. 
you got to ask yourself, what the fuck happened when you have to fight a monkey to death? They made a couple movies about that. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God, were. they did. And guess who won? And the guess monkeys. who the fuck won? Dude? <laughs> it's so funny. Like, humanity had, like, guns and, like, bombs and, and like, communications and stuff, and the monkeys still won. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. makes no sense. <laughs> we would just bomb them. <laughs> They don't know how to make a bomb. Like, they're still figuring out how to do the ABCs. We just bomb them. Honestly, yeah, we could just go to a bunker and then just spray the entire world with, like, just just some secret monkey agent. Poison. Yeah, monkey poison. It's, like, easy. We won. Because yeah, they're but... not smart like us humans. But, Panda, I got it. You got it. Okay, so, you know, humans are kind of, like, just, just basically monkeys. So, like, what about the humans who can't get into the bunkers to avoid the monkey poison? <laughs> Womp <laughs> womp. <laughs> Sad violin. Little tiny violin. Survival of the fittest. It's just like on the balls, man. First one there makes it in. It's actually not true. I read recently, it's usually like the first sperm that makes it to the egg just dies trying to get in. So actually, yeah. we're all losers. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that means like there's a lot of teamwork with sperm, they work together. Wow. And only one of them makes it. That's the fucked up part, dude. <laughs> well, can't two of them make it? In, like, rare cases, I think. Maybe. Yes. Mika, you tell us. You're the doctor. I, I don't... This isn't my, like, area of expertise, so, like, I don't know too much about it. What, you're not a doctor? No, Come I'm on, not. man. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I just... I, I don't know too much Could, about this. Could you this. take a guess? Like, how many sperm can make it in there? I don't know, like... <laughs> I don't know. How many like, leaders? How many soldiers, Miko? <laughs> how many fallen astronauts? <laughs> Mika? <laughs> so how many monkeys do you think you Zero. <laughs> I don't want to fight one, and I yeah. feel like I would underestimate even a spider monkey. I could Those things could probably go honest. fucking nuts. Is it yeah, with, I'm a little scared. Is it with our bare hands? Can we have like a gun? Oh well, a gun, <laughs> a gun. I I take that fight every day. But what if both you and the monkey have a gun, <laughs> I think I. Would there's no it. way that monkey's gonna know how to shoot a gun. <laughs> it won't. But know. there's a chance. There's Actually, a chance, no, there though. is a chance because they use tools. Yeah, there's a chance. It just happens to figure. <laughs> they it out. use tools. What, like a stick? <laughs> yeah, they got that toolie on them. It's like the same thing. I just don't know. I feel like he'd shoot himself before he shot me. <laughs> and then I just go into my bunker. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna take that fight, dude. I I feel like even a spider monkey would, would just like run circles around you and flay you. Yeah, but they're small, you could just kinda like <laughs> kick them though. You turn into a fucking McChicken, dude. You you'd you'd be fucking you'd turn into a to a pile of McNuggets. Yeah, have you guys? I have seen no those? idea what that's supposed to mean either. <laughs> have, you guys, have you guys seen those naked chimpanzees where they're super like you can see all their muscles and veins? Oh yeah, that oh, shit's yeah, fucking. Yeah. Cr- that's terrifying. They're buff men, like without the without the hair covering their body, and they don't even really... lift, bro. That's they just even, what they that's... fucking look like. <laughs> Dude, imagine if they lifted. Imagine if they did like. Can you imagine you get a imagine... chimpanzee on like on like Tren or Sarms or something? Like, you get them on some TRT, and you just bring them to the gym every day and have them pump. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> you imagine, like, the little the little routine he gets into. Like, when he when he gets on the bench, oh, he just, he just starts... <laughs> <laughs> every, every set, every rep is like... He benches, like, 450 <laughs> on warm-up. <laughs> One hand. Yeah. I would I think... not want to see it. Yeah. And they have tails, too, right? Pills? No, pills they have tails. 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 Monkeys have tails. Yeah, right? some of them do. Yeah, like they, got they, ones. they might have a really strong tail that could punch us too. Oh shit! They have an extra limb. They do a three sixty no scope tail slap. Mm. Whoopsh. Whoopsh. You imagine a monk, uh, like a really ripped monkey, just absolutely shredded, just walking along <laughs> with someone wrapped like the, his tail is just wrapped around the neck of some dude, and he's dragging him along <laughs> like cargo. Holy shit! Just just with his tail, too. He's just got, like, tools in his hands. Dude, uh, I, I learned the other day that apparently, like, gorillas... I don't know if this is true, but I think they might be vegan. 
They are, huh? yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Gorillas are vegan and they don't eat their, like, kin. They're not cannibals because apparently oh. chimps are cannibals. Yeah. So, so, th- so gorillas are kind of the chads of the monkey world. And I think that chimpanzees used to be vegetarian or like vegan, but then I fixed them. Then, then they started watching <laughs> Joe Rogan, and then they just switched up. <laughs> I fixed them. <laughs> uh, but but gorillas are so terrifying, just by the fact that they're actually like pretty chill. Like unless you true. like go up and fuck with them, they're just sitting there eating grass. Yeah. Can you walk up to a gorilla gorillas. and he'd just like vibe with you, or like would he get territorial and like? Or would she get territorial and like beat the shit out of you? I don't know, but I'd be I'd be scared of even being like bumped by it. Like even just it touching you, you'd go flying. If he was friendly, like if they were a friendly gorilla, I would love to have a friend gorilla. That'd be dope. I don't know because it would like try to do friendly shit and just like accidentally hurt you. Like yeah, yeah. If it, your, if it shook your hand, like it would just crush it. It's not aware of its own <laughs> strength. You don't think I'm as strong as a gorilla? No. <laughs> <laughs> what I love is the uh, debate that's been going on like recently the, about a gorilla versus a brown bear or like a fucking grizzly bear. The gorilla would oh, win. Oh, damn. You think the gorilla would win? I don't wait, know, you, wait, wait. You think the bear would what? win? What? Are you serious? You think <laughs> yeah, a gorilla could beat a bear, a grizzly yes. bear? Yes. I don't know. I. I, I guess it gets closer than we both think. No, you're insane. You're <laughs> you insane if you think a gr- if if you think a silverback gorilla could beat a grizzly bear in a fight. Bears have know, like man. foot long claws. <laughs> have Dude, you seen? It doesn't matter if a bear gets a good hook. I mean, if, a, if a gorilla Pain. gets a good hook on a bear, it's no, over. Good, yeah. good the claws won't matter. Dude, I no, no, no. <laughs> you are so you no. Yes, you are one so roundhouse wrong. kick, man. I had you are so kick. fucking I hate wrong. To Listen say it, to me. But I think the bear would win. Listen to me oh right now God. when I say this to you, Astro and a panda who are expressing, <laughs> who have no idea what the fuck they are talking about. Have you seen videos of like cars trying to drive through raging river rapids and then they just get <laughs> no? fucking swallowed up these thousand pound vehicles? Have you seen like nature documentaries of just bears standing in the <laughs> roughest fucking river rapids you've ever seen just hunting fish <laughs> as they slide down the river just completely unmoving un- unaffected by the thousands of pounds of water I that are barraging them I think a gorilla could do that I don't think a gorilla could stand in that river too I don't think a gorilla could these things are fucking could. killers these things are fucking <laughs> murderers dude a, a oh, grizzly bear will fuck could fuck five gorillas up at once. I fuck, guarantee fuck. Wait, you. Now it's like a fucking. Thing. He would I don't know when it bend into a bend thing. over those silverbacks. Why? Well, hold on, wait. Hold on. <laughs> so okay. goddamn oh good. Jesus. Oh, hold on. let's um, hold on. Well, I I definitely think a bear like a grizzly bear like because like you also got to think like they got giant claws and fangs right they could kind of like sink them sink that into a gorilla versus yeah. a gorilla what does it have it's got like fingernails <laughs> okay. like nope i, I just googled it has the a silver dick. a silver back gorilla can lift up four thousand pounds on a bench press wow that could wow. beat the and fuck out of a bear wait is that i true? looked it up grizzly bear I, I, I don't press. fuck it <laughs> it says the gorilla grizzly bear is a maximum 1300 pounds so that means it could bench four grizzly bears Dude, a grizzly bear is like twice the fucking size. It's got it's got double the reach. But it could it could bench it, dude. And then the grizzly bear is just like, well, man, I I'm done. Like it'd be terrified. Imagine getting benched. I I, I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm looking at this on uh, on Google because like I'm, I'm curious, right? Like I'm curious of the stats, like what we're dealing with, and uh, just from GonzagaBulletin.com. Uh, there's this exit source. But, yeah, credible yeah, People source. have made like spreadsheets. I'm looking at a spreadsheet right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's with the bear's massive body, superior muscle, surprising speed, and evolutionary armory, there isn't really any way a gorilla wins the fight. Every attempt to make <laughs> be thwarted by at least one of these factors. Yes, oh, dude. All right, bro. God. One source. Dude, one source. Look at okay. this. One Silverback source. gorilla. M- max size, six feet, 485 <laughs> pounds. Grizzly Sad. bear, max size, eight feet, 800 pounds, twice the fucking weight. <laughs> and you think a gorilla could do anything to this thing? I mean, yeah, I think a gorilla that can lift up 10 times its own body 20, weight. Yeah, 20 yeah. claws. 
20 <laughs> claws on a grizzly bear. Big, bro, claws biceps. don't matter if big it can beat the shit out of a bro, This thing is eight feet tall. <laughs> it's got, biceps. its arms are probably four biceps. feet long. Biceps. It's got 20 claws attached to it. And you think a gorilla's getting anywhere close? <laughs> the grizzly bear even runs faster. Look at this. I, I, the sp- I got the spreadsheet open right now. Speed, gorilla, 20 miles per hour. Speed, grizzly bear, 35 <laughs> miles per hour. Good God. Imagine, like, trying to run away from a grizzly bear in a, a car. Cr- hey, dude, dude, it's a fucking murderer. <laughs> it's a killer. I think that the gorilla just does a fighting game uppercut. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And the claws knocks, won't matter. It's out, knocks You're it out. You're not even going to get close concussion. to him. You're not even going like. to get close to him. The only way the, the fucking silverback gorilla wins is if he plays dead. I swear to you. And maybe There's he will no do way. That. Maybe, yeah. He has oh, yeah, the smarts. That's maybe the thing. He, he has the brain. That. Maybe he will, he will do that. figure out a We have all Trump. No, he'll go gorillas. Go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going through his brain. He sounds like he's enjoying it. <laughs> maybe he maybe he is. Maybe the maybe the grizzly bear actually fucks him. That's the psychological factor. The gor- the gorilla can in- can you know, show off its pecs. All right, and look, oh, allure oh, it. look look at this one. Quora.com in a fight between Quora. a grizzly bear and a <laughs> silver bear. Quora, you mean the ones anyone can type on? <laughs> no, but listen, listen. Very Mark story. Wilson, studied at Sheldon Jackson College, says, <laughs> I want to give Bazinga. a clear answer based yeah, on real dangerous. world knowledge of both of these great animals. The grizzly bear would completely dominate a mountain gorilla. <laughs> um... And where is Sheldon Jackson University? Yeah, I've never heard of it. Sheldon Jackson. <laughs> That's the name of the place. You know, I went to Poo Poo Pee Pee University, and what I'm saying is correct, so. Nah, but, you know. Panda, there's obviously no such place, but I could imagine oh. just like some place in America, just some guy named Sheldon, some guy named Jackson. Hey, you want to found a city here? Yeah, sure. Dude, lastly. Bear, this is still Mark Wilson who studied at Sheldon Jackson College. Oh, Lastly, yeah. bears have the highest adrenaline rush of any animal. That is why they can take six shots to the skull <laughs> and still kill a group of hunters. Oh my it god. It may die later, but I would say that one <laughs> dies last wins. Oh my god. There are amazing stories of people surviving bear attacks, but it is a f- but if it, it is a fully mature grizzly bear. It is like surviving a plane crash into a mountain. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> All right, I hate to say it, Pen. I, I think the bears win. I'm, I'm now listen to this one. Adam Petten, an ag- agricultural labor and sales uh, from 97 to 98, oh, uh, wow. who has answered 1.2 thousand questions on Quora and has got <laughs> amassed 1.1 million answer views on the site, said... A famous tracker found a grizzly, but was outfoxed, so he hid under his 7,000-pound off-road vehicle. The grizzly <laughs> lifted one side of the vehicle with no. one paw while no. swiping under the vehicle with the other. It tore the roof off of the truck, so unsuccessfully trying to roll the vehicle and tore the front fenders off. It shredded the tires and smashed the windshield before losing interest and wandering off. <laughs> Oh my god. Bro. Wait, the grizzly bear wait, wait, wait. Did you say the grizzly bear lost interest? Yeah. That's, that's that could happen with the gorilla. It exactly. could okay, but and then the, the gorilla, gorilla could just like fuck him up. Him, twist his head. The dude is hiding. The dude is hiding. You think if the dude was the coming gorilla, after the gorilla, it would I lose think, interest? I think a gorilla is smart enough to make that happen. To make it somehow lose interest and then just snap its head. We need to okay, well let's let's look online and see which one is smarter, like a gorilla or a grizzly bear. Okay, oh, know, that, the that's gorilla is on, probably much on, smarter. The gorilla, I, exactly, the gorilla is much bro. Smarter. The gorilla would probably have the well, the understanding on. of the situation to run away. Okay. So a gorilla has an IQ between seventy five and ninety five. So the average IQ for humans is a hundred. Wow. All right. What? Their IQ is not too far from humans. That's that's crazy. Yeah, it kind of makes me rethink a lot of things, actually. My, we should get a gorilla on the We should. Life. I'm down. <laughs> what, what was that one gorilla that did sign language? It was like... Coco? Coco, yeah, we should. Yeah, yeah she died, though. Oh, damn. Yeah, RIP Coco. Yeah, no, apparently it says here that gorillas can learn up to 2,000 words. Damn. Wow. Yeah. So, okay, like... I know, you know more than that. 
Yeah. I, I know. Bear only needs five words. Kill, eat, <laughs> sleep, hibernate, hunt. Shit. Shit. <laughs> you forgot shit, dude. <laughs> Pee. Fuck. <laughs> I'm That's telling you, there's no way, there's no way a gorilla is winning this fight. Wait, what, what's the IQ? A gorilla would win, and then it would write a book about it. It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, a 2,000 word book. <laughs> <laughs> How I took down Robert H. Grizzly. Mika, did you ever memoir. find out the IQ of a grizzly bear? Uh, I couldn't find a solid number, but the online sources say that they're quite intelligent. Oh, well. I don't know. I, it's, it's just a grizzly bear. You know, just... maybe... Maybe the gorilla and the grizzly bear, they would shake a uh, hand, pause, whatever, and just be like, you know mm. what? This is stupid. We can Probably. work together yeah. and achieve Honestly, more. Honestly, there's no situation where this would actually happen and they'd fight to the death. But Honestly, if they had Mr. to. Mr. Beast could get it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I got to send him a message. Hold on. Yeah, man. Mr. Beast goes to jail for animal cruelty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude, it's, just say it's for the name of science. Yeah, In this video, video, I <laughs> commit seven felonies and force animals to fight to the death. You know, at the end of the video, he always leaves a blurb to try to, like, justify what he was doing to, yeah. like, the ten people that get mad about it. Yeah. So, at the end, he's just like, don't worry, we donated $1,000 to gorilla research. <laughs> we donated ten bucks to a gorilla. We don't gave worry, four bananas to a gorilla. We gave the gorilla's family seven burgers. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Seven Beast Mr. Burgers. Beast available burgers. now. <laughs> After this video, the dying gorilla chowed down on seven Carl Grilled Cheeses and eight <laughs> Chris the Meme God Burgers. Chris he had a and great we gave him final a private his, island. Yeah, <laughs> he died on a on. private <laughs> island surrounded by delicious burgers <laughs> with Mr. Beast chocolate bars. With feastable bars, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, that was a fun conversation. Guys, it sure was. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that a whole lot. And guys, the podcast isn't over, but it is if you're not a paying subscriber to our Patreon. Patreon.com slash sleep deprived. Five dollars a month and you will get double the podcast and a whole bunch of extra content. Oh my God, it's fantastic. And honestly, True. it's oh, quite yeah. embarrassing yep. if you can't afford it. Really Super embarrassing. embarrassing. We actually have some Oilers who pay us a lot of money for us to read messages at the end of each podcast. And we're going to read some of them right now before we hop out. Uh, so uh, let's get started. Midas OW2 says, any of you start meowing, I vote a panda. Mika. Or P Mika. Uh, Mika. Joke's on Mika. you because there's a cat in my neighborhood that comes to visit me very often, and I meow back to it all the time, and we have conversations, so. Really? Mm-hmm. So are you going to. we hear it? Yeah. Meow. <clears throat> <gasps> okay. What does that mean? I don't know, <laughs> but it, it meows back whenever I do that. Oh. Fair. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Okay. Uh, William um, J. Reed the fourth says, I can't afford this anymore. <laughs> Sorry, William. <laughs> See yeah. you later, man. <laughs> that sucks, man. Good, good luck hey, out there. You got yeah. it on a podcast. Uh, Brangulus says, Have you guys watched Stranger Things season four? My favorite part was when the subtitles said tentacles squelching wetly that one time. No, I haven't watched. I haven't either. Did they really say that? Uh, I it watched did. the um I watched the first two seasons, but then I feel like it got a little too confusing for little old me. And also I don't have a Netflix subscription anymore. So Yeah, I watched like season one. Yeah. yeah season one was great. It. Season one yeah, was yeah. great. Remember that girl who died? Barb. Barb. Oh man. Oh man. Fucking Barb. Oh, yeah. Wow. I miss her, man. Classic. Right, P Barb. Yeah. Okay, uh Rectal Lacerator wants me to read this one. <laughs> uh what? <laughs> no, just, no. Just that just the name's kinda <clears throat> Okay, whatever. The government learned from the MK Ultra experiments in the 50s about how fear controls the masses and has since been fabricating disastrous events in order to keep the general populace controlled. This is happening worldwide. Mm. Thank you. <clears throat> I don't um, know what that means, and I'm <clears throat> going to choose to not understand it. Quail said, It's Quail! Back at it again for <laughs> Mika's favorite time of the month. Hey, Mika, where's my cat? Uh... <laughs> but, um, do I really have to read this? Oh my god! Yes. They, got, they pay you money. Have to, people pay money for this. Okay. Um. Where's my woo, cat? Woo, woo, daddy, nya, master. I am right here. A oh, woe blushes cutely. 
you, you need to be put down. You need to be put down, man. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know what? At least you did it, Mika. At least you did it. Thank you for doing it, actually. And uh, on that uh, yeah. erotic note. I love selling um, my, my sense of shame and self-worth yeah. and dignity. <laughs> on that note, um, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Go jerk off. And uh, we'll see you in the, in the Patreon segment of the podcast. Patreon.com slash sleep deprived. Five bucks. You can afford it. I hope. Baba booey. Baba booey. Baba booey.